it's Mindy Yoshikawa here with Sunny Studio Stamp sharing our summer 2020 release. Up first, we have our new Radiant Plumera stamps, which are our layering set for the summer. Um, it includes uh, one flower that can be layered in a couple different ways. You can use the um, base image at the top um, to layer one, two, three in a row, or you can um, omit the first one and um, do a different color in the center. So it gives you a lot of variations. And then there's the big um, fan palm leaf, um, the leaf of the plumera, and then um, a big tropical leaf, as well as um, the summer sentiment and a number of uh, companion sentiments that complement it. So up first, I have a card that uses all of the leaves in the set as well as the flowers. And for this one, I did a different color in the center and um, used our new um, uh, herringbone dies, which I'll be sharing later in the video. And this one, I used the sentiment, the summer hugs, and um, used our um, fancy frame square dies as a diamond. And for this one, I uh, used the die that coordinates with the set and offset it so that it could create a cool look like a layered flower. And um, for this one, I used the same ink or a tone on tone ink. So I was able to use that first image in the um, stamp set. And for this card, I combined it with our um, hibiscus, Hawaiian hibiscus uh, stamps and uh, the leaves in that set so that I could create this long slimline card, which is sized um, four inches by nine inches. And um, I used our uh, banner basics uh, stamped along with our uh, Phoebe alphabet stamps to create that custom sentiment down below. And up next is our potted rose layering set. This one comes with a flower pot as well as um, a little flower. So there's two different ways you can create the flower pot. There's this layered flower pot as well as um, this outlined flower pot, which would work great with our um, pink peonies. And it comes with a hello sentiments with three little um, companion sentiments. And then there's this flower that complements our previously released everything's rosy and a single um, leaf to go with that. So up first in my example, I have our, um, a card that shows um, these three little flowers and how well it goes with the everything rosy. It was designed to go with that and complement it. And then um, for my next card, I use just the items in the stamp set. So it has that layered flower pot as the hello friend from the cinnamons and the um, three uh, little flowers, rosebuds from that set. And for this one, I created a shaker using um, the outlined pot from this set. And then I just punched a hole where I wanted the shaker to go and then fussy cut with my scissors um, that opening so you could see the sequence for the shaker, pairing it with our pink peony stamps. And for this one, I created a background using the new potted rose. This time I um, created an all over print and then I um, stamped the background with um, our new banner basics and layered a piece of vellum over the top um, to create a little more muted effect. And then for the um, bottom there, I used our eyelet um, lace borders as well as that um, label um, from the um, Fancy Frames rectangle dies. For this card, I created the Hugs and Prayers sentiment using our loopy letters um, alphabet dies as, and then the ampersand from um, the festive greetings and the prayers from our angelic sentiments. And then I use those same um, rosebuds and a frame from our botanical backdrops, which I inked up with some um, Copic markers to create the veins. And for this pot, I combined it with our um, timeless tulip stamps and I popped some up on foam tape. So I recessed some on the card background and then popped up others. So it created this really dimensional looking card. And then for my um, little, little pop of color there, I added some paper from our Rainbow Bright and a sentiment from um, uh, da the um, Cheerful Daisies. And for my scallop there, I used our stitch scallop dies. And I kind of inked my um, background a little dreamy, like I wanted it to look like um, kind of fluffy clouds in the background. So our next set is the Seriously Sweet. Um, it comes with um, seven little adorable seals with um, doing things in the water. It has some flip-flops and some sunglasses. 
and um, a watermelon and a hat that you can layer on these little guys. And then um, some really fun punny cinnamons to go with them. So up first, I created um, a shadow box card that pops up. This um, lays flat. Um, and I share some ideas on how I created it on our blog, but um, I used the banner basics there for the banner, little flip flops and the, popped them up and used some paper from our um, summer splash paper pack. And then I have a graduation card, a shaker that I created um, using the new semicircles, which I'll share more later in this video, along with the rickrack border dies there and some um, of the, um, the cap from our um, woohoo stamps, and then the pattern paper from our striped silly paper pack. Up next is a um, card using our new um, stitched arch dies, which I'll share later, um, that I cut from our striped silly paper. And then um, I created a little row of uh, um, watermelon from the set to create like a little scallop border and paired it with a tag from our um, scallops circle tags. For this card, um, I used our fancy frame rectangle dies to create the focal point there. And then I used um, our new frilly um, frame herringbone dies, which I'll share more in the video later, but to create my background. Here's a card using our comic strip everyday dies as a, like a little frame to create the scene. And then um, for my cinnamon, it says have a seriously awesome. And then I used 4th of July from our happy thoughts. I love how you can just alternate and add any holiday or occasion you want there. And for my background there, I used our woodland border dies. And up next is a card using the cute little critters again, this time with our um, polka dot paper from our polka dot parade paper pack. And um, I used our new stitch um, semicircles, which again, I'll share this a little bit more again later in the video. Our next new stamp set um, in our popular series. Oh, sorry. First, um, we have a new little guy called um, See You Soon, um, the pun C. And it has a little fish and an um, octopus and bubbles. And then it has a shark that goes great with our um, best fishes shark. They are like little couple there, one facing each direction. And then this is a new scene set called Tropical Scenes. It includes um, like a jungly tree branch with um, vines and such. And then um, a border for the ocean floor. And um, here is a little island and a tree. This is the, our smallest of our, all of our trees and then some waves and some bubbles. So it creates a lot of fun scenes as I'll show you here. For my first card, um, I started by coloring all in black and white, which is something new for me, but I wanted to create a rainbow background and I thought they would really pop against this rainbow. And I stitched a heart by hand um, using our stitched heart dies um, as a template. I just die cut a heart and traced around it with my paper piercer. Up next is a card using um, the new um, vine with the tree branch together with the little um, palm tree that goes perfectly with the sending sunshine and our love monkey stamps. Um, and I created a border using a botanical backdrops together with our hello word die. My next card focuses on the um, island together with the little mini palm tree there. There's two of them on my card and I just cut the um, island in half and have half on one side and half on the other. And I paired it with our fabulous flamingo stamps and um, some paper from our uh, Stripe Silly paper pack. For this card, I created a really simple um, um, background. I masked it off and then I um, inked on some um, tumbled glass, but first I masked off those clouds there to create a really flat one layer. And then I um, layered that banner over it with our um, little silly sloth and some butterflies from our spring um, showers and another piece of paper from our striped silly paper pack. For this card, I created some um, rainbow fish from the See You Soon um, stamp set, pairing it with that tropical um, border. Um, and then um, I created a fish bowl using our new stitch semicircles, which I'll go into more again in a, just a moment here. For this card, I created a really clean and simple card using the three new little animals um, from the See You Soon and um, that border from the tropical scenes. And again, another um, window with our um, stitch semicircles. 
And up next is a slim leg card using a really cool um, stencil by Studio Cadia there for my background. And then I paired it with the tropical scenes um, seafloor there. It had a seam between the two um, borders and I just hit it with um, that little um, crab and some coral. And then um, there's the best fishes uh, shark that goes great with the new See You Soon shark as well as my favorite hammerhead, um, the little octopus and some clownfish and that new little fish um, from the set. For the um, sentiment, I used the loopy letters there for Jossum and have a birthday with our um, new Kinsley alphabet stamps. Up next is our um, Savannah Savari um, stamp set. It includes um, a bunch of fun punny sentiments, um, a little lion, the giraffe, a hippo, as well as um, um, a toucan, um, elephant, um, a zebra, and a little tree that's indigenous to Africa, as well as some um, little rocks and stones and some um, tufts of grass to build scenes. For my first card, I used all of the um, critters except for the um, hippo to create um, a little card using the banner basics there and some paper from our Gingham Jewel Tones paper pack. For this card, um, I um, used the um, tropical scenes um, jungle leaves there. And then for my um, Rick Rack edge, I used um, our frilly frame chevron dies and masked off my background using um, um, a post-it notes and as well as um, our um, circle, I'm, excuse me, stitched oval dies. So I, I um, inked up the background um, in two steps using the sky and the pool and then this, um, the ground in brown. And then I um, used a little hat there from um, Party Pups. Up next is a card using those same little critters. This time um, I used our um, snowflake circle frame and I used that negative part in the inside to um, outline with my pencil. I punched it with a circle and then I fussy cut it out so that it would line up with my frame. And then I just inserted those little animals and um, backed it with some um, green cardstock behind. And then um, I used the high from our loopy letters and those radiant plumera um, jungle leaf, um, tropical leaves for my background. Up next is a great clean and simple card for those that don't like to color. Um, I started by inking up my background with some distress inks, stamping my little critters there and coloring them in with a, just a simple black Copic marker. Um, I flicked on some grass and um, stamped my sentiment there in the center and then um, added a little strip of paper from her heroic half tones. It was a quick and easy one. Um, for this card, I used um, our fishtail banners one and two dies, as well as um, the um, gingham pastels paper and the flirty flowers paper and a sentiment from our um, um, sweet shop and then the elephant from the set. I then um, added little polka dots with a white gel pen um, to create a, just a cute baby um, look. And then here's a slim line card with all the animals stacked. Um, I just created a simple mask um, with some post-its again, and then inked up, um, took turns inking up the ground in the sky, stamping a sentiment from the set and adding a little bit of gingham paper from our um, gingham pastels paper pack again. Up next is um, our new cruising uh, cuisine stamp set. This comes with um, a food truck or an ice cream truck, depending on how it's used with like hot dogs, hamburgers, ice cream, uh, donut and sushi. It has all these fun little words that you can stamp onto the truck to name them like, uh, um, you know, food truck and sweet shop and then um, um, burger bus and lunch truck and qu cruising cuisine. And then it has as well these little tiny um, images that you can use to put on the counter for the um, thing. These are little donuts that go um, on the truck. And then a bunch of fun punny sentiments again um, that complement the images. For my first card using the set, um, I um, stamped our the neighborhood using our um, scenic route and then added the little curve there using our woodland border dies and um, overlaid it with some vellum to make the um, food truck on top really pop. For my next card, I um, cut a circle and then ran it through with um, my sunburst embossing folder, which I had inked up with a briar and some um, Pigma ink. And then um, I also added the um, cityscape die there from um, our cityscape die. 
and uh, this banner from Banner Basics and topped it with the truck. I just loved how the little scene turned out. And they don't have to, all the images don't have to be used with the food truck. They can also be used alone. And here's a fun way to um, fit a bunch of different food trucks on one background. I used our stitched um, fluffy cloud dies there and I was able to fit three food trucks on one card by letting them kind of go off the edge there. For this card, I used um, the little tiny um, stitched die there from our wraparound box dies. And um, I paired it with some pizza and tacos from our fast food fun stamps and uh, created this fun slimline card. And then, oh, for my background, I um, masked off some clouds from our comic strip everyday dies there to create um, a cloudy background pattern paper that I made on my own. The next stamp set or in our um, release is our summer sweets. This one has a soda pop bottle, um, a, a fast food cup that can be for um, boba tea or it can be a smoothie. It's got the ice cream sandwich there, um, the little orange slice or the soda to go in the pop. Um, and then there's the ice cream sundae, a dripping um, like kind of fudge sickle or um, ice cream bar. And then there's the popsicles, the ice cream, and then the milkshake. And these were all sized so that they um, can kind of coordinate with the um, other set so the food can kind of um, go together. And um, they do come with little faces, but um, I, I know not everybody likes the faces, so I made sure to um, make them a separate piece. And there's the milkshake there. And um, there's, here's the scoop. Did you hear the scoop? Hey, cutie, you're so delightful. Um, you're the coolest pop. Um, congratulations, hope you have a sweet birthday or hope you have a sweet day. Um, for my bestie, um, you make me melt. So I made these fun little birthday tags. I don't know about you, but sometimes when my daughters go to birthday parties, um, I don't always wanna um, make a card. So I'll um, just tie a little um, cute tag onto the birthday present for kids' birthdays. And so I created these little punny tags that say, hope your birthday is so delightful. Hope your birthday is the coolest. Um, hope your birthday is the coolest again, and then um, hope you have a sweet birthday. And I used um, the word birthday from our happy thoughts set and the paper from our um, surprise party paper pack. For this next card, I um, paired the soda pop bottles with the orange slices from our slice of summer stamp set and the um, Rick Rack border dies. And then I um, heat embossed the little um, orange slices in white and then inked over them with an um, orange Copic marker. And I created my own little custom wood box um, drawing the wood grain with a Copic marker as well. And then for this one, um, I um, used the striped silly paper, the polka dot parade and the classic gingham all together. And then um, a banner from um, our banner basics and then the really, I'm um, sorry, fancy frames oval um, scallop there with the milkshake. And then I created a scallop, or I mean a shaker card here um, using the um, outside portion of our herringbone frame dies there together with um, three of the little arches from our stitch arch dies and some um, various different pattern papers from our classic gingham, um, our striped silly and our rainbow bright and then the sweet word die there as well as our Neapolitan sprinkles um, for the shaker. For this card, I um, created a little row of the boba teas all in different colors and um, used our Rick Rack border dies again there together with some sunburst um, pattern paper, our spring sunburst. And then I just inked up a glow of um, pink ink behind them to kind of make them pop. And then for this one, I used the pattern paper from our surprise party paper pack and then just um, colored them in rainbow colors and um, fanned them out around um, one of our circles from our new stitch semicircle dies. Here's our new little terrific stamp set. It's perfect for Mother's Day, but it can be also used for um, friend and sister and mother. It comes with a little teacup as well as the teapot a little happy face that you can add to personalize them and also a polka dot and a half of a polka dot. So you can kind of create this overall polka dot pattern um, for your teapot. 
which I'll um, actually grab this one from the bottom to show that right now. So here I stamped um, the polka dots and the little half of a polka dot and I did all this and then I colored it in to um, look polka dot. It reminds me of Mary Inglebright from the 90s. And then I have my stitch semicircle there with some paper from our um, frilly fray, I mean, sorry, flirty flowers and some of our little pearls. For this one, I um, cut a bunch of different papers from our um, classic gingham, our polka dot parade and striped silly. And then I added the little flowers there from um, um, some Easter stamp sets. I think uh, the chicky baby and the chubby bunny. And here I used our eyelet lace border dies as, again and um, stamped the little cups there for to make my own background paper and um, created a little set kind of reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast with Chip and the mother there. And then we also have a set for the men in our lives. Um, there's, or the women, it says, you nailed it, congratulations. And then there's um, the little hammer and the saw and for the best dad I ever saw and a little nail there. So up first, I created um, my own wood grain paper. Again, I'm using a Copic marker to create a little frame. And then I um, use the nails to kind of look like they're nailing through my um, frame and some wood grain um, embossing folder for the background. And here I created my own pattern paper using that nail there and a border from our um, frilly frames, retro petals dies, uh, the tape measure from our school time, the little um, fishtail banner there from our fancy frames, and then um, the stitch semicircles. And then we have another new little mini set called Grad Cat. It has a little kitty cat and it says Mew did it. And uh, now it, the time is meow and congratulations and a little book and um, stars and uh, a little tiny bow tie that you can put on him. So here I created um, a stack of the books in a rainbow of colors, put the cinnamon there with a little bow tie. And then I used um, the pattern paper on the sides from our surprise party paper pack. Up next, I used um, the kitty five times to create a bunch of different little kitties. Um, and I added a little um, heart there from our mini um, um, exclusive dies there from our website and the diplomas from um, the Woohoo set and adding a couple bow ties on them. And then a little thin um, slice of paper just to kind of ground it and tie it into my red heart there. Up next, I also used the diploma again and then these um, little notebook papers from school time. Um, which gave me the lines perfect to um, add my sentiment and some background paper from our um, heroic half tones paper. And now I'd like to share our newest frilly frames um, die, which is the herringbone die. It comes with this outer piece that um, um, unlike our other die that's found in our retro petals, it cuts the inside of the frame and the stitching on the outside, which I'll share here in a sec. Um, this card here um, illustrates that. So it um, just cuts a little um, thin frame with a stitch around it, like I used in that card. And then um, for this one, I used the inside of the herringbone together with the outside of our retro petals um, um, frame. So I combined them and mixed and matched them. And for this um, card here, I uh, cut out all the pieces from cardstock and um, create a little template from um, like copy paper and I popped them up with foam tape. And this card, I um, took the inside portion and I um, flipped it on the side and um, overlapped it twice running it through my die cutting machine. And then I colored each of the little cutouts that I got as a result um, with my Copic markers to match the colors of his little inner tubes in my card. And um, to get this look here, the embossed look with the um, herringbone, I used one of those rubber embossing mats instead of um, a cutting plate. And then I inked over it with some um, distress ink to exaggerate the embossing. Our next new um, uh, standalone die is our stitch semicircle dies. It has um, three unique frames. It cuts both the inside and the outside. So you can create either a frame or a little mat. And then it also has this little tag here. And um, just to give you a point of reference, this is the little inside circle tag that came with our scallop circle. So it's a different size than that one. It's um, just a slightly smaller tag, which is nice to handy to have. 
So here's some examples using it. For this card, um, I used um, the little stitch semicircle. I used it both the positive and the negative um, on that one. And for this one, I created a little mat for my um, teacups. And then um, for this one, I used it just for the to fan my little popsicles and uh, to create a window. And um, this one, I um, created my shaker card, um, pairing it with a little scallop there from our sweet treats um, home add-on, as well as the oval handle, which I elongated um, from our sweet treats bag die. And here I created a little shaker. And um, for this one, I used it for the polka dots to um, ground my little um, critters and create a fun big polka dot scene. And for this one, I used it to create the window for my pop-up card. So as you can see, it has a lot of different ways you can use this one die set. It's really versatile. And our last um, new standalone die is our stitched arch dies. And once again, you can use the positive or the negative. There's four this time in this set. And um, you can uh, cut it to create tags or little windows. And um, this tiny one is a tag, um, but it, the other ones um, don't have to be tags because it um, doesn't automatically cut a hole. So here I used it to create my stitched window. And um, these two are using the exact same size. So just kind of two different ways you can use it. This one's using the slightly smaller size as a little mat and I didn't choose to cut out the little tag there. This one is that little mini one that is definitely a tag. So I um, wanted to create like my little sweet shop awning. So I had to cover those little circles. So I covered them with some cherries um, and it just actually looked like it was meant to be like you'd never know they had them there. And then I used them here to create those three arches. So I think in all of these examples, I managed to use every size that um, was in that set. Oh, and just before I forget, um, these little uh, gift tags also use this um, stitched arch dies. So you can turn them into fun tags in four different sizes. And here's a closer look at all of the cards I shared here today. If you like what you saw, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can view um, more about these projects at our blog. And I've also listed um, the supply list below. I hope you guys have fun being crafty out there and stay safe and healthy. Thanks again for hanging out with me and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.